Hey everybody, what's up? Random Gene here. Alright, so I've wanted to uh, put together an APRS tracker. It's an um, automatic packet reporting system. And ultimately what it's going to do is take a GPS signal uh, of your location, transmit it via ham radio, and put it out on the internet so you can track it on a map. Um, I'll go over it a little bit. I'll show you what I have. I'll start assembling some of the pieces I need. And we'll, uh, we'll look to it. I'm uh, coming into the shack over here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let me, uh, let me change cameras and I will put it on. Uh, I'll show you rather the, the, the pieces and we'll put it together. Okay. My automatic packet reporting service box of goodness. Self-contained GPS and cable. Bionics Tiny Track 3 needs to be programmed. Dual band amateur handheld radio. Cable to connect the radio to the Bionics Tiny Track 3. Power cable for the whole setup. Programming cables to program the Bionics Tiny Track 3. And the nice little radio holder. Antenna adapter to connect the antenna on the roof for testing purposes. A dedicated mobile mount antenna for the APRS system. Let's put it all together. I have my bench top 12 volt power supply. I have it powering the Tiny Track 3. It's then going to a null modem connector with an RS-232 cable connected to a RS-232 to USB connector for programming purposes. Okay, go to the Bionics website, their Tiny Track 3 page. Download the configuration software. Once that's downloaded, open it up, start it. Then you got to program it. A lot of information to put in. Plenty of information to read the paperwork that comes with it. You're going to enter your call sign. You're going to enter the path. Either way. But it's reading COM5. That's what uh, COM port it's connected to on the computer. I already programmed this uh, Bionics Tiny Track 3. So I'm just going to read config. Let's see what happens. Assuming you just programmed it, you entered everything, now you're going to want to write config. When you write config, it's going to write all that information onto and flash it onto the, Pi, the Bionics Tiny Track 3. So let's go ahead and click write. Config written successfully. Okay. Done with configuring the Tiny Track 3. Okay, let's see if we can get this together. Bionics Tiny Track 3. We'll connect the GPS cable to the GPS port. Okay, so the uh, Automatic Packet Reporting System, APRS. In this situation, it's going to take the GPS signal and it's going to take that position and transmit it over the amateur radio. It's going to transmit it to either a digipeter, which another ham radio operator had set up, or it's going to transmit it uh, to a uh, eye gate, um, also which another ham radio operator would have set up. If it's if the GPS signal is received by the by the digipeter, the digipeter is basically just going to retransmit the signal until it hits an eye gate. When it hits the eye gate, that data, the position data, will be then injected into the internet where you'll be able to see the location on a map real time of where you are. Um, but you're not just limited to, uh, to GPS data. You can have a two-way, a two-way APRS, lack of better terms, two-way APRS. Um, you can transmit, you know, text, text messages. So I have the GPS cable connected to the Bionics. I have the radio and power cable connected to the Bionics. So like I was saying, you're not just limited to uh, GPS signal data. You can transmit 
messages, text, uh, and it can be received at the computer. So if you have a APRS capable radio, it's two way. You can receive data, you can also transmit data or what's called packets and it doesn't have to be GPS data it could just be it could be text okay let's put it all together inside the radio holder okay there you go one self-contained APRS tracking unit 12 volt power supply. This is the cable to connect the GPS to. And there's also an external antenna that we can connect to the vehicle. Hey, okay, here's what I like about this. Is it's portable. And that means with a another external battery pack that I get to construct. I can power this whole unit by removing this and connecting that battery pack to the power pole connectors. And that would make this entire unit uh, portable where I can carry it on me. I can also, if needed, if the uh, rig in my truck goes down, the amateur radio in the truck uh, stops working and I'm in a pinch, I can just disconnect this radio and use this uh, in an emergency situation. It's a dual band radio, so it's already programmed with uh, local frequencies and whatnot. But yeah, so you can use this uh, for various things. Like I said, you just keep this antenna with it. While it's in the truck and I'm using it as an APRS tracker in the truck, I would just uh, keep the external antenna mounted to it. But I would keep this antenna local to the, to the radio. And if I ever have to pull the radio out and use it, um, at least I'll have the antenna with it, but yeah, so let's give it a test. I was going to test this in the shack first, but you know what? Let's give it a real world test. We'll set it up in the truck and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm out here in the garage. Let me show you what I got here, what I set up. That is the GPS antenna and a dedicated APRS antenna. It's a VHF band antenna. Okay, and that is going to the APRS tracker. I have that mounted on my Gray Man Tactical Molly panel. That is the um, first aid kit under there. But it's going to the APRS tracker. Let's fire it up and I'll show you what it does. All right, so the uh, APRS looks like it's, uh, it's working pretty good. I'm going to drive a little bit. We'll get some tracking data. Buckle up. Be safe. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, let me explain this to you, how I'm going to do this. Uh, so, right now, it's tracking me. It is sending it to the internet. I'm going to show you uh, with the other camera on the phone. I Obviously, I don't have a, a laptop in the truck. Um, I could put it in here and just go off of a hotspot, but... Uh, you, know, you could still track it. Uh, I'll go to the web page to track it on the uh, on your phone. So I'll uh, I'll put it on uh, on the phone, and you can see the tracking. I'll hold the uh, hold the camera. Okay. First thing we're going to do is go to APRS.FI. That's the web page. There are many web pages you can check tracking, but we're going to just do the uh, Google Maps. Okay. It's going to go there. So now it's just a general. We're going to search for call sign. That's me. Okay. Search. And there I am. That's me. Track. We'll zoom in a little bit. That was the little bit I drove already. So let's uh, let's drive around and we'll see what uh, happens. When we get back down into the shack, we'll show you the track that I traveled because it stores the info and you can backlog or backtrack. It updates every so often. Okay, small update. It's 
So while it's working, I think I have some uh, settings that are no bueno. Just doesn't seem to be updating fast enough for the amount of turns and whatnot. You know, I mean, it's not a perfect tracker. It's not going to track every single turn, but it should be tracking better than I've been seeing. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to check the settings and uh, give it a shot again. Okay, so check in the tracks on line. That's what it just tracked me as doing. I could do a lot better than that on actual updating of the tracks because I actually went this way and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so to me, that's unacceptable. So we're going to go back and uh, reprogram this. All right, so ultimately what I did was I turned on smart beaconing, which uh, should give a better update rate on turns and while driving slow or driving fast, etc. Okay, I'm back in the truck. APRS is uh, up and running and uh, we'll give it a shot. I'll drive around, we'll get some tracks on it and we'll see, uh, we'll see. I'll see if I can get it on the phone again. All right, so it seemed to have updated much better with those settings. We'll look at it on the uh, computer. That's the APRS tracking it's done. It was much better. Picked up a lot more track points. We zoom in a little bit more. You can see a little bit more detail in the way we traveled on the road. I'll fine tune that um, smart beaconing feature on the configuration software. But what's pretty good is you can see various information. So uh, at 559, um, I was traveling at 40 miles an hour, a heading of 345 degrees and um, an altitude of 374 feet uh, above sea level. So a lot of different information. It has its purpose. All right. So APRS, they have it. You know, what's it useful for? Yeah. I want to make sure the volume was up. You know, what's it useful for? I guess whatever you want it to be useful for. It's a hobby. You know, it's it's amateur radio. So, and that's, this is just a small part of it, but um, you know, it doesn't end with GPS signals. You can transmit uh, text, send a text message. I can hook up a uh, computer to that tiny track and send a, uh, a packet of uh, text. It's, it's, it's that, it's automatic packet reporting system. And I could send a, a text message to another amateur radio operator that has uh, his amateur radio or ham radio connected to a computer. So it's, it's endless. It's uh, just another part of the hobby. But what would I use it for? Again, it's just a hobby. Now, what am I going to use APRS for? I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see how much I use it. But let's interesting about it is if you take away the internet there's no infrastructure needed so instead of a GPS signal I could send a text or a message via amateur radio to another amateur radio operator just like I could transmit a voice uh, message but you can transmit this data packet and via ham radio to another to another amateur radio operator with a computer hooked up to it and that's it there's no there's no other infrastructure involved other than what the amateur radio operator has so you know that's a it's a pretty good concept in in emergency situations the old so-called shit hits the fan, the grid goes down. You can get some sort of communication going at least. So that's my APRS tracker everybody. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Take care.